Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to make this kawaii cat in a swimming slash wading pool using polymer clay and resin. Before we get started I wanted to let you guys know about a poll I'm holding over on polymer clay amino who have kindly sponsored today's video. Amino is an app with millions of different communities for people to come together and share their interests. Of course for me I'm part of the poly clay amino community. There's lots to do on the app, like browse through other crafters' work, create blog posts, and even vote in polls like this one that I've created, asking you which clay tutorial you would like to see me upload next. So to participate in the poll on Polyclay Amino, just click the link in the description or pinned YouTube comment and follow the prompts to download Amino for free on iOS or Android. You can also download Amino by searching your app store, then searching for Polyclay once you're in. Remember, you can find me there by searching for RagyH96. Now moving on to the tutorial, starting off with the pool, take three different balls of clay. I'm using pastel blue, yellow and pink. Go ahead and roll each of these colours into a thick snake for the sides of the pool. Use your blade to trim the excess off the ends and make them all equal in size. Now take your bottom colour, I'm using blue, and curve it around into a circle so that it looks like a round tube. You can blend the ends together using your finger or one of your tools. Now also do the same for your other two colours, stacking them on top of each other as you go. Now that that's done, we need to create a base by rolling out a thin sheet of clay. I'm using blue so it matches the bottom tube of my pool. Place the pool on top and then you can cut away the excess clay. Next I'm moving on to the cat. So for the little floaty tube that it's sitting in, I took a ball of pink clay and used my large ball tool to create a crevice in the centre. For the cat I'm using regular white clay and I rolled a section into a ball for the head. To make the ears create a diamond out of the white clay and then also add on a smaller pink diamond. Use your blade to cut this in half and then you should end up with two even sized ears to place on the head. For the face I created two indents for the eyes and then I added in two balls of brown clay. I made two thin U shapes for the mouth and then placed them on side by side as well as also adding a small piece of clay for the nose. I then attached two small whiskers on each side and then two balls of pink clay as well for the cheeks. Now with the white clay, shape three teardrops, two for the legs and then one for the tail. Then position them hanging over the pink floaty. Add on the head and then it's time to bake both the cat and the pool in your oven according to your package's instructions. So after they have been baked and cooled, I decided to add on some little star details around the pink floaty using white acrylic paint and my needle tool for more precision. I then took my UV resin and it's time to start adding the water into the pool. So I went ahead and poured it in, not quite all the way to the top though. If you have any bubbles you want to get rid of, you can wait until they rise to the top and then pop them with a toothpick. We then need to cure this layer, so I went outside and placed my pool out in the sun to let the resin cure. Once it had hardened, I added another thin layer of the UV resin on top and then positioned in my cat. Once you are happy with how yours looks, you can go ahead and cure that layer as well and then we are all done. So this is what my finished piece looks like and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out and how the resin looks like water. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.